Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I am feeling 98% today. It's pretty good. Not 100%. A little bit of something in my throat. A little snuggle, a slight sniffle or a slight sniffle. But I'm grateful. And I'm happy to be having a love morning with you. Maybe as I talk, maybe that will help. Maybe not. We shall see. But if I get quieter, you'll know that I'm feeling the effects of some little, little thing in me that my white blood cells are doing their best. So I'm grateful for this incredible system of immunity and my internal defense mechanism. But before I get deep into gratitude, what do we do here? That's right. Make up a song. So, <clears throat> today, as we start to say the things that make us happy, we ought to make sure we look at the good stuff and not too much time on what's crappy. That doesn't mean we put our heads in the sand, it means we look all around this magical land and we say look at all this stuff that makes it grand everybody everybody raise your hand and say love morning love morning yes yeah, say yeah love morning love morning yeah say ha huh, huh. love morning love morning yeah good morning you know i'm uh Oh, ho, ho, oh, baby alien and, and Rosie are homesick. Well, I, I'm glad that I'm in good company. And I don't know if you listen to the Stay Sparked podcast, but each week, uh, my co-hosts and I, we share something we're grateful for. What? Really? Me? Sharing things I'm grateful for? Well, the this week on the Stay Sparked episode that's about the voices in your head, if you just want to listen to the few, first few minutes... I give gratitude to you and your baby and the video that you shared and how happy it made me. Mm. Good morning, Harmony. Thank you, Harmony. And thank you for being here. The point of a love morning, the objective is to start the day or whatever time it is for you to connect with fellow beautiful people, to remember that we're not alone. Sometimes the world starts to feel dark, pay too much attention to the wrong places, and you get a warped sense that people are no damn good. That was one of my, my dad's lessons in life. Don't trust people that buy ink by the barrel. People are no damn good. Never lie. Things like that. Mm. But... While it's good to be aware that there is aspects of that that's true, and I still don't think you should trust people that buy ink by the barrel, which means media. Not to say media is all wrong, but mm, if you've ever been the subject matter of a news story or been there and then read the story afterwards, you're like, huh, it's not exactly how it happened. So extrapolate. Anyway, back to, and I'm not like, I'm not saying down with mainstream media. I'm saying all media is got its bias and it goes through human lenses and we have cognitive bias and all that stuff. That's all I'm saying. I'm okay, I shouldn't have gone down that rabbit hole. What I'm what I mean to say, what I'm trying to get to through this meandering that I appreciate your patience with is that sometimes uh, the media, the, the the diet of information that we take in is toxic. Just like if you eat, um, you know, taquitos, what do they call it? The uh, hot flaming Cheetos just every morning, your body's not going to feel so good. And if you take in news articles about all the things that's are wrong with the world and all the people that are, that are just filled with greed and all the examples from humanity of our worst. That's like shoving Cheetos down your gaw and filling your gut with it to start the day. Gotta be, gotta be careful. 
And, and if you do fill your body with Cheetos or media stories or Facebook threads that are, make you feel, oh, people fucking suck, then you come here and we go, oh, no, 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 some people suck. And even those people, deep down, are doing the best they can with what they got. They just, maybe they just need us to reach out and go, good morning. And they go, Whoa. And then the fourth time someone goes, hey, good morning. They're like, well, are people really nicer than I thought? And then in a year or two, you see that person and they're saying, good morning. That's the goal. And so as we collectively come together and we remember that we're surrounded by people, like, good morning, Vicky. Good morning, Amy. And then we become ambassadors of all this goodness and we have a strength, a stronger foundation knowing that we're not alone. So that when you do have that person that goes, Whoa, you go, You do you, I'm gonna keep spreading this goodness. I'm gonna keep being kind because the ripples will hit those that they need to and those ripples will go on and it matters. Vicki is grateful for her pups who remind me of simple pleasures. Beautiful, thanks. Amy is grateful for doing yoga with my gal friends in the forest and now going skiing. As I read that, forest yoga and skiing, the yoga sounds quite cold, but I'm impressed. Bravo for your action and your friends and your self-care and your movement. Good stuff. Chris is grateful for me, for me. Oh, thank you. Tommy is grateful that the new harness he got for his chusky worked fine and he took me for a good walk. Lovely. Jason is grateful for my robe. I, I, thank you, Jason. I, uh, and I hope you don't mind me sharing. We had a little, uh, we had a dinner date last night. Um, and then one of us wasn't feeling so well. And then I wasn't feeling so well. So I would have had to cancel had it not been canceled. So it all worked out. I'm not feeling terrible, I'm just like, mm. in the world that we're in right now, I feel like if you are ugh, questionable health, isolate, don't, don't, uh, or at least give people a consent. Uh, like, hey, I'm having scratchiness. And then people can go, I don't believe in illness. I will be over there and tongue kiss you momentarily and go, okay. Oh, uh, good to see you, Jason, and I hope you're feeling better and better and better and better and better. Izzy, good morning. Izzy is grateful for learning every day. You are an inspiration in that realm. So thank you for sharing that and continuing that. Hey, Brent, good morning. Brent, can I share? Well, I'm going to share. Just describe the video you sent me. I believe you said, uh, no, I'm I'm questioning. Yes, you sent me a video. It was like love ambassadors gone wrong. And uh, <laughs> it's this clip of like, I think it's like a high school kid walking to school. And he's like, what if they can hear us? And he goes, have a good day, screams at the car that's driving by. And you hear this, Urgh! and so like the car that he's yelling, have a good day at must have looked at him and then slammed into the car in front of him. And you hear the voice go, dude, you caused an accident. And, you know, and then that's the end of the clip. It's like, ooh, that's the, uh, the dark side of being a love ambassador. I guess you gotta be careful about that. And it's funny, years ago, when I, uh, my partner had pink hair and we would ride our pink fur bikes around and we were always kind of conscious of that. Like people do do this like double takey thing when they're driving and it's a little dangerous to be so fucking beautiful. <laughs> or unusual. And saying have a good day to a stranger is so unusual that people go, what? What's happening? So we gotta change that. And if we have to have a few fender benders to get there, that's a small price to pay. Tracy is saying, happy hump day. You're going to Colorado. 
grateful to see my family and play in the fresh snow. I love Colorado. Lots of my family has lived there or does live there. Grandpa Caleb lived there for I think the most of his life. Lived a lot of places, but when he raised his family, it was in Colorado, which is where my mom grew up. Oh, Chris is grateful for tongue kissing. You know, I have, let me see if this, is this appropriate. I have noticed that my, I'm generally a chameleon kisser. Like I, I tune into the way the person I'm kissing kisses. But even, even so, my kissing has really, uh, I think it's much more, much more lighter than it used to be. Yeah, that's for sure, actually. A lot of my intimacy is a lot of light than punctuated by strong, if that makes sense. Too much information this early in the morning? I blame the scratchy throat. Tara says, good morning, everyone. I am grateful for love mornings and for therapy where I am learning how to set boundaries. Boy, boy, oh boy, is that a good one. Kiri, hi, good morning. Kiri is grateful for an interaction I had with someone I'm a super fan. She liked something I made so much that she shared it and made a reaction video to it. I'm speechless and awestruck. Oh, I love hearing that. I don't know if you saw, I recently reposted uh, Amanda Palmer, who is a musician and writer that I love. She, when she was getting ready to do her TEDx talk or her TED talk, she solicited, hey, what TED talk should I watch as t inspiration? And I sent her mine and she wrote me back the most awesome response. So one, just knowing she watched it and then she said like, fucking awesome thing. She actually said, Fuck. I put it on the back of my book. Actually, if you have my book, it's got a quote from Amanda Palmer. So I know that feeling of like, <gasps> I love you. And you think I'm okay too? So if you're here live, we'd love to hear something that you're grateful for. If you are here and you don't really want to say, I don't want to type that out. If you just type in a one, type a one if you're grateful for anything. You can find something like, oh yes, there's a roof over my head. Oh, my bed is not made of prickly things. Oh, I've got a pet that I love and loves me. Anything. If you got something, type a one. Type a one. Oh, I better type a one. There we go. Mmm. Ah. I am grateful for my friends. I was invited to a um, a spur of the moment gathering for a friend of mine who's going through some treatment that is causing their hair to fall out. So they had a a ceremony where people came together and they uh, shaved their head and. Uh, I thought that was so cool. I so wanted to go, but because I was feeling a little under the weather, I'm like, ah, I, I shouldn't. I'm I'm gonna stay home. That would that would not be a good way to celebrate someone's um, courage in their healing journey to get them sick. So, but I'm, I just I saw some pictures today, and I was just feeling like, oh, what a what a beautiful community of people I have in my life. And that goes for this community too. I really feel proud of of the people that tolerate me and that welcome me and that vibe with me. So thank you. I'm grateful for you. Another thing about the good love morning we try to remember is to try to be those love ambassadors out in the world. Try to be kind and say thank you and try to look people in the eye. I'm continually impressed with my interactions with people at the grocery store. I'm not sure if you guys have this experience, but even if like we're doing our things, they're checking things out at that time when I say thank you, or I mean, just that moment of eye contact as they're giving me my receipt, 
I continually feel like this person is an expert at this. We just had a connection, which makes sense. You practice all day long, just like you practice gratitude, you get good at it. So thank you to all those in the service industry that are, are helping us with fewer and fewer opportunities to interact. I recently went to CVS. I walked into the store. There's no one there. No one greeted me. There was, <laughs> I, I saw no employees. I self-checked out and I was like, wow, that was unsatisfying. Like I would rather just order from Amazon and get it delivered tomorrow. I do like to interact with human beings which is interesting because I think five years ago, I would have said I would much rather order online. And now I'm like, eh, I kind of want to go someplace and see people. Carolyn is grateful for her bravery and sense of adventure. Thank goodness. I'm so glad I'm not scared of living. Yes. And thank you for giving gratitude for yourself. That is, I think, a beautiful thing. A uh, ladybug who was here the other day and someone I've been spending a lot of time with, she has been sharing her gratitude practices is, is one, you make sure you feel it and in, her, in your list of gratitudes, have one thing, something that you're grateful about yourself, which is a, a beautiful practice. So maybe I will try that since, I, since Carolyn has inspired me. Um, I am grateful for my ability to love everyone and my ability to recognize that everyone is going through the human experience and that so even if i have momentary moments of annoyance with people i very quickly go to a place of compassion so i'm grateful that i've cultivated that uh, part of myself because of how it makes me appreciate the billions of humans that are doing crazy things sometimes, but I can, I can see through it. I, I, I see you. Uh, enjoy your trip and safe travels, Tracy. If you are here and have something you're grateful for, let us know. I'm getting a bunch of phone calls this morning. So I'm just going to check and see what is happening. All right, cool. Um, so we're gonna have a hug and then go off into our days, spreading this cultivated energy we have and sharing it with the world. Thank you for everyone who has contributed some gratitude or some good energy or a one. <sighs> so wherever you are, let's give ourselves a big squeeze. Feel this precious body, recognize that even if you might have an ailment or a sickness, that your body is working so hard beneath the scenes to heal. So many things working perfectly. So many things self-generating, self-repairing. I'm grateful for this opportunity to spend time together and be reminded that we are connected. So let's spend just a moment as we hug each other, feeling connected in this space, feeling me and all of us hugging you as you hug all of us. Take a deep breath in and hold it and squeeze. <sighs> On behalf of Grandpa Caleb and all of you, thank you for being here for this love morning and Bardo Hug Nation. I love you. Happy Wednesday. New episode of Stay Sparked is on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Also, a new episode of Gratuitous Boobs. What? Yes, I'm doing two podcasts now. Gratuitous Boobs is uh, about 80s movies. So my brother and I and our friend Shonda, we rewatch some 80s movie and then go back and notice all the things about it that are, are totally, you know, could not happen today. And it's pretty funny and sometimes touching. And uh, I urge you to check it out. Gratuitous boobs and stay sparked. You can search for them on any of your podcast destinations. And if you like them, leave a review, please. And if you have a suggestion for me, let me know. And if you're annoyed at how my voice is going up and down, I don't care. Well, I do care. I don't want to annoy you. 
but there's so many different ways that I'd like to annoy you. Okay, I think it's time for me to log off. I love you.